Hi, I'm Ross, and this is DIY on the House. Today we're going to have a real good time. Um, we have been building some uh, really fun projects out of uh, cable spools and uh, a cable reel, cable spool. Um, and today we're actually going to use this little bitty one. It's a 24 inch cable reel um, and we're going to make a light stand out of it. And uh, we're going to take it apart, uh, cut, cut the top in half, uh, cut the bottom in half, and then rejoin everything with uh, gas pipe. All right, before we get started, uh, just wanted to go over the, uh, the, the materials we'll be using today are, these are half inch floor flanges, and then these are 12 inch nipples, uh, half inch, uh, gas nipples actually. Uh, and these actually screw in, that makes a flange for the floor, that's for the ceiling, but on this project we'll be actually um, making three layers. We'll have, I'm gonna take my saws off, cut this in half, or actually I'm gonna dis, uh, disassemble the reel. Cut this uh, end in half, cut the other end in half, and they're going to have a three-tiered uh, nightstand. So that's about all we're going to need. The sawzall, the um, cordless drill, and obviously some screws and a couple of wrenches to tighten everything up. So it's actually really a simple project and really cheap. Um, all this was had off Amazon. So it's a real fun reel, cable reel fun project and uh, let's go ahead and get going and I'll disassemble everything and then we'll just uh, start cutting and cutting and jiving. Alright, we'll grab on one side with this, a pair of pliers and on this side is a nut and we're just going to hold one and unloosen it. And And voila! What I'll do is I'll just take a square, I'll measure it, or I'm not measure it, I'll mark it here, mark this one here, and take my saws on and uh, slice it in two. This will be one, two, and then three, so it'll be a, a you know a little three-tiered uh, nice stand. Okay, so I got everything marked. Um, so we're just going to slice it down the middle. And, uh, and then start uh, doing construction on it. The reels are cut and we're ready to assemble. Um, what I've done here is I've laid them out and well, I'm going to go ahead and just put the, the, these are in kind of tough shape because of course they've been used. And uh, so I'm going to put the worst one on the bottom and, and accordingly and put the best one on top for the uh, top of the nightstand. So what i got to do is I've got these 12 inch pieces of pipe with the uh, ceiling floor flanges. Um, I'm going to screw those on, make them nice and tight. And then I'm going to start assembling. So on these floor flanges, of course, you always want to make the uh, the flat side is what you're going to be screwing down to. So I'm, right now, I'm just going to do these. Oops, and look at that. I did it wrong because I wasn't watching. I was thinking about something else. So I got both kind of like a barbell or train wheels or car wheels, or roller skates. No. All right, it's time to be serious. And what it did is on, on Amazon, of course, I ordered this, the pipe and these floor flanges. And this is the second time I've ordered these floor flanges, or ceiling flange. It's, it does make a difference what you call them, they're flange. Um, and they're actually by the tin pack. And it's a whole lot cheaper to do that uh, other than doing the onesie twosie stuff. But uh, of course, we'll have that listed um, on our blog, our website, 
and also at the end of the video. So, okay. So this is going to be the uh, bottom one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to put these flanges or these uh, uprights uh, three inches off of the side to center. So that's three inches from here to the center of that. So I'm going to do the same thing there on this on the center the, or on the this one. Um, the reel actually measures out to 25 inches, so it's going to be 12 and a half inches. So I've actually already marked that. I measured out uh, right at the apex of where the um, you know the spool center hole is. And, and what I'll do, I'll take my square like that, mark that. And so I've got my mark here. I'm just going to take uh, like this this hole right here. I'll center that out there. Kind of even it up by eyeball. I'm going to hold it roughly a quarter inch off of, uh, from the uh, edge of the reel. Okay. So three inches to center. And that's going to get covered up anyway, and it's going to get sanded. Um, just on a side note, I get my screws from Ace Hardware. Uh, because they sell it by the pound. I think it's $2.69 a pound. And it doesn't matter what size you get, you can get uh, the smaller one inch all the way up to two and a half inch, three inch screws for all, and they're always $2.69 for that price. And it's a great deal. It's way better than Home Depot. Um, so just to let you in on that. The challenge is actually going to be getting these all together. Okay, now we have that. This is uh, number two. So I want to go like this. That'll be the bottom. This will be number two. And then of course we'll do number three. So this is actually going to go together. Actually kind of cool. I'm going to go down here, measure my three inches and get that centered out. Now, I just need to do stage three. And that's course. Okay, peer, tier number two, I think. So, mark out three inches there. Reach there. Go to the apex of this. Twelve and a half inches. Mark that and attach number one. Okay, do that. Go ahead and then, like I did on the other one, attach this one first. If they're not looking straight, just kind of adjust it with the screws around. It'll actually pull into the wood and uh, straighten itself up. I'm gonna center that at the three inch mark. Okay, last one. I'm gonna kind of line these up a little bit. Alright, lay this back down. Okay, now this one did um, pull in because the, the wood is warped on these. So I'm going to, um, actually I'm going to attach this one and get this one attached. And then I'm going to do a little heavy handed uh, work with that one to try to get it back to where it needs to be. Okay. Okay, so I've got this one that's it's visibly a mess. So I'm going to loosen it up here on this flange. And there we go. Okay, now that works a lot better. I'm try to get it 
over there where I want it to be at three. Actually, good. So I'm going to zip these in and then I'll zip the tops in and try to keep everything stable. Looks like it's staying okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say in this, and, but these, these big washers that uh, when the real, uh, when I disassembled it, uh, inserted into these holes. And I want to kind of make that, I'm going to look, you know, the way it was, because I kind of like that look. So I'm going to take those, I'm going to get, make some uh, JB Weld quick. Um, I always use that because it sets in six minutes super fast you, you do it and then as you can basically bear a thing right behind it so we're going to do that i'll sand jb weld these um and then bear things okay so i've got the sanded um i want to kind of keep kind of a rustic look to it so i didn't get too i didn't get crazy at all because it has these nails in here i did go through with a hammer and wax some of these nails down. There's actually a staple right here from probably a tag. I want to keep this stuff. I don't want to, I want it to look as, you know, authentic as possible. So I just go around, tap stuff down that I don't like. And uh, so now I've got this, this JB Weld Quick. Uh, I don't know if you've ever used JB Weld, but I use it all the time for everything. Uh, it's a great, just a, a really good two-part epoxy. This is quick, it sets in six minutes. So you squeeze a little bit of harder and then the other compound, the steel compound, you mix that up and it's a little bit chilly today. Uh, during the summer, this stuff, it really squeezes out the tube. But you just mix it, you know, okay. Little touch here, little dabble do ya. Move that. Okay, a little bit squeezes out, just squeeze over it. It's okay. Okay, it's time to uh, uh, put a coating on it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use polyurethane by Verithane. Uh, you can purchase this off of Amazon. Uh, they will ship this to your house and, uh, and you don't have to, of course, you don't have to buy a quart, you can buy a smaller. So I'll go ahead and get started and we'll show you the, um, what it looks like after we're done. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Looks like a weathered wood. We got the very thing all done, and uh, it actually turned out really neat. What a really fun project, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you'd like to, um, give us a thumbs up, appreciate it. Uh, subscribe on the subscribe button down below. And if you want to make a comment, make a comment, as long as they're good. Um, and if you have any other ideas with reels, I'd be happy to hear it. All right, well, thank you so much for watching DIY on the house, and uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.